Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at a math game called 21X. Let's get into it. Let's start looking at this game called 21X. It's like a version of Blackjack only with math expressions on the cards, which is really fun. And I'll show you some of the things I really love about this, and there are a couple of things that I don't love about this game, and I will share them at the end. But overall, I do really appreciate when people put together games that make you play and try and master math concepts by gamifying it and making it so that it's, it can be a ton of fun. One thing I noticed about this game, 21X, there were no directions on how to actually play the game inside the box. Now, if you go to the website, there's lots of great information, and they actually just revamped the website, so I would definitely go check that out. But what I did, I got the box of cards, and I said, let's just play 21. And so I kind of pulled my kids together, and we just started out like this. Like, all right, here's a card, 2X. Make that equal to 21. What value would you need for X? And so we were like, well, 10 and a half times two is, is 21. So that would be, X would be 10 and a half. And then I'd bring in another one. Like, oh, there's three N. <clears throat> so what can you make for values of X or values of N that would give you 21 for this? And so, I mean, an easy one is that N would be seven. So three times seven is 21 and then x is equal to zero. All right, cool. Or you could do the opposite, n is equal to zero and x is equal to uh, 10 and a half, right? Or you could try and combine them together, which might be a little bit more challenging, but um, let's see, so three, yeah. So if I did three times one, that's three, and then two times nine is 18, so 18 plus 3 is equal to 21. So you can make all sorts of combinations with these two, right, where you would add them together to give you 21. And that's kind of how we went, and then we like hit me. Oh boy, and now we have minus n, right? And so we'd think about like 3n minus n is actually 2n, which is going to be really difficult to work with unless we just make n equal to 0 again. <laughs> and then, you know, so, or make n equal to that uh, 10 and a half and x equal to zero, right? And so anyway, we, we messed around with it and kept like, like hit me again. And oh boy, well, this is getting really fun now, isn't it? Um, so anyway, so you'd end up with this list of things and you keep trying to make 21 out of the list that you had, which was fun. Um, we could also like just pick one card again, like negative x, how do we make that equal to 21? Like it would have to be, x would be equal to negative 21. So negative, negative, or minus negative, or the opposite of negative, however you want to think about it. But the opposite of negative 21 gives you 21. And so we'd work with it that way. So we actually had quite a bit of fun messing around with this and trying to figure out our own rules and, and playing and seeing how many cards we could add before we just went completely crazy. Right, So that was really fun for us. We had a good time and we were able to play with this um, and, and really enjoy it. So for that reason, I like the flexibility of not having rules because I can kind of make up my own rules and, and make it fun. Um, I do think, like I said, if, if you're looking for specific rules or game options or things like that, go to the website and, and look those up because they definitely have better ideas than I do as far as that goes. But that's just one way that we messed around with it. I do want to talk about one of the features of these cards that I haven't mentioned yet, and that's that they are divided into difficulty level. So you see that there is just a triangle in the upper corner of this. When we get to more difficulty levels, oh, it looks like I've been playing with the cards. They're not in order anymore. When they get to slightly more difficulty level, you'll have a square and a triangle. And when you get to, see, I definitely have been playing around. Um, they're out of order. The most difficult ones will have that pentagon, square, and triangle, okay? So you, you have different difficulty levels where the expressions that are on them become more complicated. 
right? You can see that these are definitely more complicated as we go. So, so you can definitely increase the, ch the challenge level, the difficulty, the depth of knowledge when you start working with some of these really challenging ones. Oh, and there's a, just a constant number four. Now, as you, I was showing you the cards, um, we did come across something that I don't love about these cards. And, and so I want to, to kind of emphasize that here. Um, yeah, this'll, this'll work. These, these cards will help. One thing I don't love about this deck of cards is, is that variables in math are the same. So if I have n and 3n, or positive 3n and negative 3n, they're three of the same things, only opposite. All right, so positive 3n minus 3n equals zero. They cancel each other out because they're literally the exact opposite of each other. These pictures are not the opposite of each other. They're not just red and black, they're actually different shapes. So when I'm teaching the concept of variables at first, I'll say like n is an apple. So you've got three apples and you take away three apples. What do you have? No apples, right? These aren't apples to apples. They're a little bit different, right? Um, I understand that they're doing this to, to make, you know, make it look like a deck of cards, but that's one thing that kind of I don't love about this. Same with the value of x. All right, we go from X being hearts to X being spades, same thing. Um, they are consistent with negatives being, negative numbers are colored black, positive numbers are colored red. That's consistent with, with everything inside here. So there is a lot of consistency. I just don't love the visual when it comes to teaching math about variables. Very nitpicky thing, but as a math teacher, I do have to bring that up. Um, so let's put that aside and talk about one of the other things I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, and that's these cards here. I actually like half of them. I like this half. It's, again, consistent. The, the red is the color for positive numbers. Black is the color for, for negative numbers. Um, and it has rules here for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing when you're working with negative numbers. I like that. Um, what I'm not a huge fan of is um, the list of order of operations on the back of this card um, because it lists it as if it goes in order. First, you do brackets. Second, um, powers or indices. Third, division, then multiplication, then addition, then subtraction. The problem with this is that you don't always do division and then multiplication because division and multiplication are done in the order they appear from left to right and then you move on to addition subtraction in the order that they appear left to right. So to me, this is kind of misleading and I would say the entire deck would be better to not have this in it at all. Um, I expressed that to actually the people who make this deck of cards and they were like, oh my goodness, you're right and we'll look into that in the future. So perhaps when you get this, it was not even a problem because um, they really, I mean, they are working on the product and continuing to make it better. Like I said, they just did an update on the website. So they're definitely continuing to, to improve things. But if I were to buy this deck of cards, I would throw out these ones completely and then I would like them a lot better. Again, as a math teacher, I would definitely have one of these in my classroom as a classroom tool to use maybe um, for uh, a station or something where students can get together and, and do some work. All right, so I hope that that honest review was helpful for you. I hope that maybe it made you think a little bit about this. I love the idea of making games out of math stuff where people can have fun while also learning and expanding their mind think that's fantastic and so for that reason I, I agreed to work with this company because I think they're doing some innovative things that are really really great. I hope that that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.